Hello, PowerMax here. Today, I'm going to be showing you six shockingly cool experiments you can do with your Venigraph generator. Now let's get to it. The first thing I have are some ion wind motors. These will spin when you put them on top of the Venigraph generator. We also have some Franklin's bells, a couple lights, scraps of aluminum foil, and even a fluorescent tube. Everyone likes a good spark or two. This is what they call an ion wind motor. We simply have a piece of wire that's bent into this shape with two L's on either side and a balancing point right in the middle. Electricity will spray out on each end of the wire, causing the whole thing to spin. Here, I have a little neon bulb, and it's been blackened from all the years of abuse it's gotten. I don't know if you can see it. Zoom in a little closer. See really long sparks from this. Next we got something called Franklin's Bells. The way it works is simple. Our Venigraph generator over here generates a positive charge. That positive charge will arc over to the washer, giving it the same positive charge. Thus, the two will repel each other. And the can is negatively charged. The positive charge is attracted to the negative of the can. But now it gathers a negative charge, so it wants to come back over to the positive charge. The reason that it's called Franklin's Bell is because Benjamin Franklin, who invented this thing, his design had a bell over here and over here. So as you can see, even after I turn it off, there's still a residual charge left on the generator. So our improvised Franklin Bells will go on until the charge equalizes. Unfortunately, I didn't get the best footage of the Venigraph generator lighting a fluorescent tube, so I included some pictures. Yet another cool thing you can do is use your generator to paste paper to the walls. No need for that gunky old tape anymore. Take your Venigraph generator with the top piece to cut off. Take a piece of paper and wave it around as shown. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.